Welcome to the Ann Arbor News Daily Webcast. I'm Jim Knight and today is Monday, October 29th. We have several stories you'll find today on this site. First, voters in Ypsilanti will decide November 6th whether to initiate a city income tax. Proponents say the tax will help a financially strapped city pay for basic services such as police and fire departments, bus service, and park maintenance. Opponents say the tax would discourage businesses and residents from moving to the area. The proposed tax rate is 1% on residents and corporations and a half percent on non-residents working in the city. If voters approve the tax, Ypsilanti would become the first city in Michigan to approve an income tax since 1994. Check out today's feature on Mike Grace, who leads a jazz program at Community High School. Grace has been at the school for 28 years, and students in his program play locally and around the world. Next month, for instance, he'll take five members of the Advanced Three Jazz Ensemble to Japan. His groups have opened for artists such as Ray Charles, Dave Brubeck, George Benson, and Lewis Smith. In sports, the Michigan football team is riding a seven-game winning streak, and the Wolverines take on Michigan State this week. That game will be shown on ABC, by the way. We'll have complete coverage on this site of today's press conference with Michigan coach Lloyd Carr. Also in sports, longtime Eastern Michigan coach Roger Coriel announced his retirement on Sunday. Last month, he mistakenly sent a series of emails to about 150 people. Those emails were deemed inappropriate, and he was placed on unpaid administrative leave. Coriel was Eastern's coach for 20 seasons, and twice he was named the Mid-American Conference Coach of the Year. Check back to mlive.annarbornews.com for updates throughout the day. For the Ann Arbor News, I'm Jim Knight.